Lance Corporal Mark Aspinall, 24, was in the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers for seven years. He served in Iraq and Afghanistan, earning praise for his immense bravery as he lived and fought on the front line as a warrior gunner. His commanding officer said he never let his comrades down. But in July, shortly after returning home to Wigan and going for drinks with friends, the defenceless war hero was brutally beaten by three police officers. In a case of mistaken identity, they believed he was being a nuisance to paramedics working nearby. Mark, clearly the worse for wear, drunkenly tries to speak with the officers. As can be clearly seen, he stands ten feet from them in the middle of the road as they stand near the pavement. Suddenly, the three police officers move as one and run across the road towards Mark. Startled, he falls over, and as he gets to his feet, one policeman rugby tackles him, and the other two help bundle him to the ground where a vicious assault begins. Special Constable Peter Lightfoot, who weighs more than 20 stone, bangs Mark's head on the road twice before leaning over and shouting into his ear, while his two police colleagues kneel on Mark's legs to restrain him. Mark, in pain and self-defence, gets one arm free and manages to bite one of the officer's legs. His punishment is fierce and immediate. The officer concerned pushes him in the face with his booted foot, while Lightfoot grabs Mark's hair and repeatedly scrapes his face on the tarmac. These are the shocking injuries he was left with. Yet still the attack goes on. Even though Mark is lying unmoving on the ground, Lightfoot rains punches on his victim. He hits him twice, checks to see who is watching, and then punches him another six times on the back and shoulder joint with all his might. Lightfoot stops the beating only as people driving past slow down their cars to watch what is happening. After nine horrifying minutes of brutality, the three officers finally throw Mark in the back of a police van, which drives him off to the cells. There he's charged with assaulting the officers who had attacked him, and later convicted of two counts of police assault.